my friends. Happy Monday. We are going to be doing our Operation Inner Thighs, Operation Thinner Thighs workout today. You're going to love this. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started with our warm-up. So I want you to start out in that half kneeling hip flexor position. So tucking your hip underneath, squeezing your glute, pushing forward, pulling back. We're doing that active push and pull on each side. So I want you to go ahead and do eight of these on each side. So if you have been watching my workouts for a little while, you might be wondering, she does this all the time. Why is she doing this exercise? It is so important. It is opening up your hip flexors. We sit so much, this is the exact opposite of sitting. I absolutely love this exercise. I think it's one of the most important exercises you can do. So pushing your hip forward, squeezing your glute, feeling that really good stretch. All right, you guys, next one. Going back onto our backs, we're doing our glute bridges. So palms are facing up. Press your lower back down into the mat, squeeze your glutes, lifting up, and then back down. Squeeze, and then back down. Okay, same thing here. We're gonna do eight of those. Next one, we're going to our open half kneeling um, calf stretch. So what's happening here is you're gonna have this, this knee is going out to the side. We're driving our knee over our toe, but you're keeping your heel on the ground. So your heel is planted on the ground every single time. Knee goes right over your toe. Shoulders are facing me. So everybody's facing me with your shoulders. Everything, you're gonna be feeling a stretch in your inner thigh. I told you guys this is Operation Inner Thigh, Operation Thinner Thigh. So this is helping you stretch out those inner thighs. Eight of those on each side, then go ahead and switch sides, same thing. Eight of these. So knee goes out to the side, chest is forward, driving your knee over your toe. Next one, hands and toes, hand goes behind your head. Elbow touches in, opening up, feeling that stretch to the back of the shoulder. Really feeling that open, open, open. Each time we're gonna do the same thing, other side. Elbow in, open. So eight of those on each side. Next one, we're going into our pikes. So on our hands and toes, I want you to drag your heels down into your pike, coming forward, stretching back, forward, stretching back. You're gonna feel a really good stretch through the backs of your legs, kind of shake out your head. You're gonna do that eight times. So each of these exercises you're doing eight times. Next one we're gonna go into is our reverse lunge with a reach. So you're gonna go ahead and step back, reverse lunge, reach up to the sky, reverse lunge, reach up to the sky. I want to see how tall you can get. Let's elongate our bodies. So reaching that body up. So again, eight of those on each side. Last one here in our warm up, reach your arms up to the sky, reach behind, behind, up, up. Notice I'm not standing up yet. Now I'm pressing up through my heels, squeezing my glutes and back down. Again, eight of these, pressing up. That is your warm up for today. Moving on into our core section, I've got two awesome core exercises for you today. Our first one is going to be what I call a half kneeling halo. So for this workout, you need a lighter set of dumbbells and a heavier set of dumbbells. So what our half kneeling halo is, so this is with your lighter dumbbell. We are going to make a halo around our heads. We are going to be angels today. So hip is tucked underneath, squeeze my glute. Heel is planted down through the floor. I am going to rotate away towards my knee, around my head, giving myself a halo, and back down. So around my head, halo, and back down. So I'm moving around my head, giving myself a halo, keeping my abs super tight. You're gonna go ahead and do this on both sides. So you got eight of these on each side, going around, giving yourself that halo, and back down. So all the way around each time. Okay, so that's your first core exercise. Your second core exercise we're gonna be doing is a side plank with a hip dip. So we're gonna go into that side plank. So again, if you're new to side planks, you can go ahead and start here with your foot planted down on the ground, pressing through your heel, lifting up through your side. If you've done side planks for a while, let's go ahead and put your foot in front, either stacked, or you can also raise that top leg up. For this demonstration, I'm gonna stack my feet today. Go ahead and drop your hip, lifting up. Drop and lift, drop and lift. Okay, so for that exercise, I want you guys to do eight of those on that side and eight of those on that side, and we're gonna be doing the halos around the head eight times each direction two to three rounds of those okay two to three rounds we got it next exercise we are going to be moving into our strength section so our strength section for this workout why you use your heavier dumbbell so grabbing your heavier dumbbell 
we're going to be doing a lateral lunge. So what this looks like, you're going to step away. So if the dumbbell is in your left hand or right hand, you're going to step out away from your dumbbell. So I'm going to be stepping out to my left, okay? So stepping out, pushing my hips back. All 10 toes are pointing forward and pressing together. Stepping out and back. Pushing my hips back and together. So notice that all my toes are pointing directly towards you. I'm bringing the dumbbell right to the inside of my heel and back up. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So heel together, stepping out together. Okay, so that's your first exercise. You're going to do 10 of those on each side. Second exercise, we are going to go onto our backs here and depending on your strength, you can use your heavier or your lighter dumbbells here. I'm going to use my heavier ones because I've done these for a while. And we are going to go onto our backs and do a floor press, press with a glute bridge. So you're on your back, we're doing a floor press. So we're going to go up into our glute bridge like we did in our warm up. So my hips are up, my hips are staying here, they do not move. And then I'm going to do my chest press. So I'm coming down, exhale as I press up. Down, exhale as I press up. Notice that my hips are not moving the entire time. Okay, so I'm working my booty as well as my chest in this exercise, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and do 10 of those on each side. And then we're gonna do, I told you guys this was Operation Inner Thighs workout today. So we are going to do what I call a single leg rock back. It's gonna open up your inner thighs. So your legs gonna go out to the side. Hinging at your hips, hands are on the floor. Back toe is up. You're just gonna rock back. I want you to feel a really good stretch through this inner thigh. You're gonna rock forward. You're gonna rock back. You're gonna rock forward. You're gonna rock back. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and do that exercise 10 times on each leg. So each of these, I want you to go ahead and do them 10 times on each side, two to three rounds. Then we're moving on to our strength, our second strength section. So our second strength section of this workout, we are going to be doing a Romanian deadlift. So for this exercise, you need two of your heavier dumbbells. Um, I like to also call this my bend and snap. So if you guys have ever seen Legally Blonde, feet are a shoulder width apart, push your hips back, weights go right up against your shins, pull up with your heels. So if you're watching me from the side, same thing. Shave my shins right up against my shins, pull up, squeeze my glutes and back down. Hinge, pull up, squeeze my glutes and back down. So that's your first strength exercise. Your second strength exercise is going to be a slow dumbbell pull down. So you're just gonna be standing for this. Weights actually start up above and we are going to slowly lower them down. This is like doing a pull up, but the opposite way. So we are gonna pull, slowly let our arms come down and we are gonna be using those back muscles as they come down, okay? So arms are up, slow on the way down. Okay, so 10 of those. Then our last exercise in this um, series, we are gonna be doing um, what I call a knee drive. So here you're gonna be in this hip flexor position, and I just want you to drive your knee forward. We're gonna be stretching out the back of your calf and you're, so you're just drive, this one instead of tucking your hip underneath like I always talk about, we're actually driving our knee over our toe, trying to keep our heel planted as firm as we can into the ground. So really plant that heel down, drive your knee over your toe, stretch out your Achilles. We're gonna go ahead and do that on both sides. So again, 10 of each of these exercises, two to three rounds. Okay, moving on to our finisher. I have an awesome finisher for you guys today. We are going to be doing a forward and back lunge. So if you have your phone, you can download the Gym Boss app. So the Gym Boss app is my favorite app and we are going to use the Tabata setting, which means that you're doing 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, okay? So the exercise that you're gonna be doing for these 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, is you're gonna do a forward and back lunge on one side and then a forward and back lunge on the other side. So on the first side, the forward and back lunge is gonna look like this. So you're gonna step forward, Step back, all the way back, and forward. You might need a little more room than me. Um, so you're gonna step back, and you're gonna go forward and back. So we're using this leg like a pendulum, and then we're gonna rest for 10 seconds and go ahead and do this on the other side. 
Okay, so if you love this workout and you want more workouts like this, go ahead and follow me on Facebook at Kim Cluster and Shine Fitness. You can also follow me on YouTube at Kim Cluster. That's where I host all of my videos and you'll get a weekly update when the newest video is posted. So thanks so much for doing this workout. Let me know what you thought of it. Um, I'm here for you. Ask me questions. I love this stuff.